I think one of the things that's most impressive is you've been building AI machine learning for Fortune 50s, for large companies for over a decade. And I think in the current zeitgeist, obviously AI has been everything that people are talking about for the past two years. Yeah. As an insider, as someone who's been building with it and, and truly understands what's going on under the hood, where does Gen AI stack up for you? Is it this you know, amazing innovation that's so different than the predictive models we had before, or is it just kind of another step, but now it has a lot more attention? Yeah. <laughs> so when I say this, probably many people would just turn off, but I was never a big fan of generative AI, right? So we have classification, we have regression and generative models. So encoders, decoders, we're always something very niche, um, as, especially um, because they always have been working half the time. And even now today, we see that stuff um, breaks down still at some levels of complexity. Uh, and, and break down, meaning hallucinations or something else in, in mind? Yeah, I mean, hallucinations are also interesting, right? If we like the output, it's called creative. And when we don't like it, we call it hallucination. So um, for me, AI or machine learning itself, these non-deterministic systems have always been more like an interface, right? And uh, generative AI is, of course, very useful. It's uh, the main thing I'm working with uh, right now, but it took quite a bit of time for me, at least, to come... Um, to the let's say self-revelation that we actually need to take the detour through language right as a coder we have code it's very concise it's we have data points etc it's weird that we connect our systems to something that now generates language feeling like a step backward to then take a step forward to maybe create insights um yeah but um in general um, you probably know the Gartner hype cycle, right? Um, yeah, but the, maybe talk through the, the, the cycle for anyone who's listening who maybe isn't. Yeah, so, I mean, the Gartner hype cycle right now, generative AI is pretty much at the peak. So uh, so probably next six months, it's going down. But the, the interesting thing is a hype cycle is always contextual. So for AI researchers, the hype cycle peak was in the 80s. We are now in the maturity phase. I mean, what are you talking about? And it's quite interesting. Uh, when I talk to friends, I basically say, well, imagine someone calls you on a Friday and says like, hey, uh, we can install fiber optic cable in your house. And you say, um, okay, what's that? I have a phone line. And uh, on Monday, you have fiber optic cable. And it's like, wow, it's so awesome. It's great. I mean, that's amazing. I wonder what next week happens, right? Forgetting that 10 years, there have been projects building fiber optic cables and so on. And basically, just now, you got connected and kind of get this jump start. So, yeah, I mean, generative AI in general right now is a balance between fate and faith. So um, mm. it's uh, uh, it makes stuff interesting and at the same time complicated. So you you make it sound very. Uh, I mean, fate and faith are both mm. words typically ascribed to religion or belief systems yeah. or something else. Very very far from programming. Maybe contrast deterministic versus non deterministic. Mm. Obviously, the words are a little bit self evident, but they have right. extra meaning in the AI world. So define those and then also kind of maybe expand on how, how you see this non-deterministic world of going back into language to get outcomes and maybe issues with that. Right. So a deterministic clause is five is greater than two. And uh, you can repeat this clause as many times as you want. The output it's always true is always true. will always be, be the same. And uh, this is how software has been working and also how we rely on building maybe crappy systems, but they are crappy at scale. It's quite a weird phase diagram when we scale up things and all of a sudden they become more crappy or we have actually 
like accumulation of, of mistakes. And this is something as at least engineers are not used to deal with and particularly not um, what I experience uh, ex execs, so executives, C-levels, managers, because when they spec out a project in the past and looked at it and oh, yeah, it's not perfect, but it will do. Now it can be that next month or next two months, something crazy happened, right? And uh, it's kind of funny because when we look at enterprises or also small startups, there are always two perspectives. The engineers usually have an outside-in look, meaning what technologies, programming languages, innovations are out there in the world, and how can we use those things inside our domain in our problem space. Managers, CEOs, visionaries usually do it the opposite way around, meaning, hey, what do we have here and how can we compare, compete, satisfy, and nurture needs in the world? Now, <laughs> we have the weird situation that managers cannot really rely on the deterministic nature of something inside of the company. So when I bring in AI, I might create chaos that there's enough chaos outside in the world. And managers usually expect that, well, the company inside and the systems and everything is kind of predictable. That's how KPIs and everything is born. Um, but now the world comes in, into the company because, I mean, yes, non-deterministic systems or entropy or chaos is something in our systems we usually don't acknowledge but when we look at the world like look at the stock market frequency trading um, our whole society relies on that and nobody can explain how it works it would be impossible to backtrack how something happened um, so we have a flip of, flipping of worlds um, which kind of drifts almost like in transformation systems thinking um, organizational psychology because um, now the engineers bring in something that is non-deterministic and uh, the managers now have two variables to handle, the chaos of the outside world and maybe also the chaos of the inside world.